Hey, today I'm going to show you a cool ESP32 project. Currently we are monitoring the real-time electricity consumption of my entire house, along with some other useful information. How? Well, it is easy. This is my electrical panel and this is the Shelly power meter. Using this clamp sensor the Shelly meter measures the current at the main phase line. It is constantly connected to my Wi-Fi network and sends data to the cloud. This data can be viewed in a Shelly mobile app or in a browser. However, I've decided to display the same data on this ESP32 device. This is a LilyGo T display T4, my most beautiful board because of this amazing AMOLED display. Program this interface in Arduino IDE and I will share my code, of course. I want to make one thing clear. I'm not paid for this video. I bought this meter with my own money. Actually, to be honest, I tried to use e-begging. E-begging is modern form of begging where users exploit modern technologies like email to get free products or money. Yes, I sent them an email saying, listen, you have a great product, but it is a bit expensive for me right now. But if you send me one, I'll show it on my YouTube channel, which is awesome. And my subscribers will love this. And they said, nothing. They didn't respond to my email. But after some time I managed to buy this meter thanks to your coffees and thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you all, not just the supporters but everyone who watched my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's be serious for a little. I hope you like my intro and I hope you don't mind e-begging. I tried. But it seems e-begging don't work. So let's take a closer look on this device. This device ESP32 is connected to my Wi-Fi network and I'm using great Shelly API which gives me responses in JSON so I can get these data showed on my screen. I have quite low voltage, current, frequency and we can see that right now my house is consuming like 3600 watts because water heater is turned on. Here is clock which is very important. I can set brightness by tapping the screen here but I will not or I can now it's maybe too bright. This is okay. And now I have now here I can see total kilowatts. Um, I have this uh, power meter. I don't know more than twenty days I think, and since then. I made 349 kilowatt hours of energy. And this number today, right now it is not correct because it will reset in in the midnight. So if I leave this device to run a few days, this number will be Correct. I will see which, how many kilowatt hours I spent at the day. This is maximum power consumption. How this knows when it's midnight? It's now because here is clock. Clock is I'm using built-in uh, real-time clock ESP32 have a but every hour it will connect to internet and set itself. So it is quite precise. And what else? Here is a graph which show last 70 readings. And readings are every one second. That's it. I will share this code in description so feel free to check it it is quite a mess and code is a little complicated but i hope it will be useful to you now i will show you what you need to do if you want to use this combination if you want to build this project 
you will need exactly this board. This will not work on <laughs> any other board. I'm sorry, and you will need that Shelly power meter. But if you are good, if you are good at reading code, you can use this user interface to something else. So here is code. There is lots, lots of it. I will show you what you need to do to show your data. So power meter itself don't come with lots of uh, with some user manual but soon you connect your uh, your shell emitter to cloud and to app everything is quite easy in code you will need to put your SSID of course and password and you will need to make your custom your custom link this is my link which will get my data don't try to see my data because I changed it but I will show you where you can find and what you need to edit here and uh, here you will need to set your time zone I live in plus sorry plus 2 GTM so 2 multiplied by 3060 is 7000 and uh, 7200 so keep in mind that you need to set your time zone here to get correct time and this link is maybe most complicated you will go in your to your cloud and here in settings you will click here to get key and if I click here I will get key which is this part you will paste it here and you will get your server link my server is this one and you will also need ID which can be also fine in, which can be fine when you click on your house and then your device here in settings you will have your house ID if you have questions and if you don't understand something feel free to leave a comment and I will try to answer best I can. Thank you, have a nice day and I hope, tell me what you think. I hope you liked my user interface. I spent it, I put lots of effort to make this look this way. Thank you, goodbye.